Today I'm in beautiful Polly's Island, just south of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's said that here in Polly's Island, just before and sometimes during hurricanes and very powerful storms, one can see the ghostly apparition of a man wandering the shoreline. It's a 200-year-old legend with sightings still being reported to this very day. This is the legend of the Gray Man of Polly's Island. By far, the most famous legend in the sleepy coastside town of Polly's Island is that of the Gray Man. As previously mentioned, the Gray Man is said to show up just prior to the landfall of hurricanes predominantly, but there also exists a small handful of eyewitness reports claiming to have seen the mysterious figure prior to the onset of other powerful non-hurricane related storms. Most eyewitness accounts describe a translucent figure wandering up and down the area's coastline. Many have even claimed the Gray Man verbally warned them to leave the island as weather conditions worsened. Some have even gone so far as to credit the mysterious Gray apparition with saving their lives after evacuating. Furthermore, it's said that residents who heed the Gray Man's warning will always return to find their properties undamaged. Reported encounters with the Gray Man have been documented prior to every major hurricane affecting the island for over two centuries. So, who was the Gray Man? Well, legend has it that the Gray Man is the ghost of a young man from the neighboring town of Charleston traveling up to Polly's Island to visit his fiancée in 1822. The unnamed man traveling horseback allegedly encountered a patch of something like quicksand while traversing a marshy area. He and his horse became trapped in the mire and both would eventually lose their lives as a result. While the legend of the Gray Man has been verbally passed down over the last 200 years, it appears to have first entered print in 1946 in a book titled Waccamaw Plantations by Julian Stevenson Bollock. The legend was further elaborated upon in Bollock's Book of Ghost Stories, published 10 years later in 1956. The Legend of the Gray Man garnered national attention on an episode of Unsolved Mysteries, which aired in 1990. The Unsolved Mysteries episode included an interview with Polly's Island residents Jim and Clara Moore regarding their encounter with the Gray Man just prior to Hurricane Hugo. On an interesting side note, I was actually at Polly's Island very, very shortly after Hurricane Hugo, and it looked like an absolute war zone. I took a ton of pictures. Unfortunately, I could not locate the album where the pictures were. So the pictures you're looking at right now are all from the web, but that's what it looked like. I mean, there was just debris washing in from the shore. It just, it looked like a war zone. The Moors gave their account of seeing a strange figure on the beach that vanished before their eyes when they tried to make contact. The Moors were familiar with the legend and made the wise decision to evacuate. When they returned after Hugo had passed, they were shocked to find their property relatively untouched, while the homes of their not-so-lucky neighbors had all sustained extensive damage. Fast forward to 2014, the legend of the Gray Man enjoyed further media coverage with an entire episode of the Weather Channel series American Supernatural being devoted to it. As far as physical descriptions of the entity, there is some variance. Most commonly, he's described as a young man in gray clothing and a long coat. Some accounts describe his garb as looking something akin to what a pirate would wear, and some accounts describe him as having no legs. The image seen here is one that frequently comes up when searching the web for the Gray Man. The image is credited to a woman named Latricia Graham and was allegedly taken just prior to Hurricane Ian in September of 2022. Despite my efforts, I was unable to find any further information about the image and whether or not it's real, I'll leave that up for you to decide. We end the video with this fascinating piece of CCTV footage. The footage comes to us via YouTube channel Ghost Guys Go, who captured this live stream during Hurricane Florence in September of 2018. 
The footage clearly shows an apparition seemingly materializing out of nowhere on the Avalon fishing pier. The video certainly seems to fit the bill to be a possible Gray Man sighting, but with one caveat. The Avalon fishing pier is located at the Outer Banks in Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. This would be approximately 266 miles or 428 kilometers northeast of Pauly's Island. Is it possible that one ghost could be seen so far away from its usual stomping grounds? If not, could this be a completely different, unknown entity, or perhaps even something else? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Hey everyone, Drew here from Mad Cat Mysteries, and I hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. If you did, you can click on the subscribe button below. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.